Right, the outside day reversal. Now, this is one of our little gems of uh, of trading. This is one of the things that if we see it, we trade it. There's not many patterns that we can actually say that for. A lot of patterns that you see, you think, mm, there's a lot of factors that have to come into this to make my decision as to whether to go with this or not. But with this pattern, um, we have, Basically, instead of looking for justification why we shouldn't uh, should trade it, we look for reasons why we shouldn't because it's pretty much if we see it, we're going to trade it. Um, there are a few of these um, gem patterns, like we call gems, um, where if we see them, we always trade them. But they're all on the members section of our website. So if you want to know other ones like this, this one's quite common. You will find it in textbooks. Um, it's quite a well-known um, pattern. The other gems that that we uh, trade aren't so well known, but anyway, what happens is um, this is a two-day pattern. It takes two days to form this pattern. Um, you have maybe a down day. So if we look at the first um, rectangle, the uh, blue rectangle, on the left-hand side you've got a uh, red candle. So that's a down day. Once that happens, you're like, okay, it's a down day. We'll probably have another down day tomorrow or whatever. But what actually happens is it opens a little bit lower and it rallies and goes up and up throughout the day and it closes above the previous day's open. What that basically has done is totally eclipse the previous day. That is a reversal day because what's happened is day one, sellers were in control. Day two, the price goes lower and buyers were so in control and so overpowered the uh, sellers, they actually pushed the price way above. Um, what the uh, previous day was so that would be a good buy signal I'm um, sorry a good buying signal not a good buy see you later signal anyway right so it goes up and um, so it worked the pattern works the next day it goes up the, uh, the day after that it goes up but then what we have is another reversal day because what happens is that the, the um, buyers are in control with the three green candles and then the price opens upwards so to start off with that looks quite good you know it looks like if you're if you're watching the uh, share price that morning you're thinking oh it's opened upwards it's even got a little wick on top of the candle so it actually goes higher but then it turns around and it just dumps the price absolutely dumps and what happens there is it actually again eclipses the previous days so um, the open is above the previous days close and the um, close is way below the previous days open so that is a pretty much an engulfing pattern and then the next day you have a, uh, a down day so it works again but let's go into this a bit more detail so let's actually look and see this pattern in action um, this is the US uh, S&P 500 which is what we encourage people to trade when they only want to put a little bit of money on the trade um, right right in the middle of your screen um, we've highlighted a reversal day and um, what we need to point out here we're going to this in a bit more detail is um, on the red day the open is exactly the same as the previous day's close now we just told you that it has to be above the close and drop and be below the, the previous day's open that is a textbook example but this still qualifies if you get the same open as the previous day's close as long as the close on the red day is a lot or is lower than the pre the green days open it qualifies um, and as you can see the next day we have a down day um, and it ends up going lower and um, if we look on the right hand side of the screen we actually highlight another one this is something we're going to again in a bit more detail normally when you sit in textbooks and traders talking about this um, they tell you that at the top of an uptrend you'll get a, a down outside reversal day reversal but what we're actually saying is sometimes these working uptrends um, you'll get the, uh, the the pattern basically telling you buyers are actually still winning the battle so let's buy gives you a green light to buy more but we'll go into this a bit more detail okay so this basically we've highlighted some rules um, just pause the screen and uh, read this information and then we move on okay so we touched on this earlier um, this is just to highlight it again. Um, you can have a um, on the green day, right? Let's start. Let's let's be basic. On the green day, the base of 
um, the green candle on the left hand side of your screen is to open it obviously goes up and it closes um, at the top of the um, green candle now the, previous, the next day um, the top of the red candle is where it opens so it's exactly the same but what happens is it drops and it closes below the uh, previous day's open that shows dominance still so that is still a valid pattern and we would trade that um, so again have a quick flip through this okay so as we mentioned um, previously it doesn't need to be at the top or the bottom um, of a move to be a reversal day um, because I mean when we say uh, reversal that basically means it's gone up it's having a reversal pattern and it, it's going to come down but a lot of traders miss this example the example that you've got here on this uh, screen a lot of traders miss this because they they don't realize it's there because it's in the middle of a, an uptrend and um, so basically you've got a, a, a nice strong uptrend you have this pattern and then what that basically tells you it, it gives you a green light to buy it's saying it's actually safe to buy because buyers are still dominating sellers so this is a good thing because um, sometimes it's a little bit risky buying into an uptrend because you don't know when there's going to be a pullback and you don't want to buy on a peak and then there'll be a pullback for three days after you've bought so a lot of traders like us um, we wait for some sort of ball flag or something like this sign to say you know this is a, basically what we're trying to say is this is a continuation pattern so it gives you the green light to buy more okay so we've mentioned that this is a reversal or it can be a reversal pattern but something that a lot of textbooks etc don't really point out is that um, it may well what happens after you have a successful pattern so you spot the pattern the next day is a down day in this example so what happens then um, <clears throat> well actually you may only get one day in the direction of uh, what the patterns sort of telling you where it's going so don't expect it to be if you see um, a downside reversal in an uptrend don't expect the price to fall a good 10 to 20 percent and you make 10 20 percent on your trade because it might not happen it may only give you one day it normally always does give you one day but that might be all you get quite often you'll get more than one day you'll get a couple of days um, but I just don't want um, people to watch this video and think oh we've had one that's it we're, we're gonna uh, make a good 10% on a short or something because it doesn't always work like that so uh, just something to think about right most important rule is if you see this pattern trade it, it as I said it won't work all the time but most if, if you can find a pattern on the stock market that works sort of 75% of the time or more you trade it every time you see it because nothing is guaranteed on the stock market but this is such a strong indicator um, you should make money well you'll definitely make money more often than not and um, also if you spot one of these patterns tell us <laughs> get on the uh, website contact us and just give us a little heads up um, we do the same thing for our members if we see something like this there all our members will know about it so um, if you see it and you're going to trade it let us know and uh, we can all make a, a bit of money on it